Shorter quarterback who was listed under six feet, lacks stature and has average arm strength, was not super productive in junior college, projects as a backup quarterback at a power five level. Yeah, no, I don't agree. Bennett at quarterback under center. Snap to Bennett. Throws it softly. And touchdown! Touchdown strike for Bennett. He got a touchdown! And you can't throw that football any better if you're Stetson Bennett. He's really cementing his spot here as QB1 for the Bulldogs. Exactly zero Power 5 programs offered Bennett a scholarship. Instead, he walked on at Georgia in 2017 and then walked away after a season on the scout team to go play here. Jones College, a junior college in Ellisville, Mississippi, known for producing Power 5 players. Did you think you would ever see him at Georgia again? No, I honestly didn't. He wanted to go play and compete and show his talents. You know, Stett was, was, wanted to be back at Georgia. He grew up there, you cut him open, he's gonna bleed Georgia blood. Bennett returned to Athens in 2019, this time on scholarship, but was stuck behind Jake Fromm. But then Newman shocked Georgia by opting out. And when Mathis struggled in the season opener against Arkansas, Bennett got his unlikely chance. Yeah, he's got the nickname, the mailman, so we'll see if he can deliver for Georgia. Bennett underneath, hits his tight end for the touchdown. Bennett helped the dogs beat Arkansas, and by season's end, he had started half of Georgia's games in 2020. Even when JT Daniels was named the starter in 2021, Bennett did what he always does. He stayed ready. Stetson Bennett expected to start at quarterback for Georgia rather than JT Daniels. Once again, he was there when Georgia needed him, and he's been there ever since. He's going to get a chance to redeem himself against Alabama and Indy. Now another flag. Bennett launching. Mitchell. Tim Smith jump. He says, what the heck? Let's go to the young corner. We've gone after him here a little bit on this drive. Let's take a shot with my freshman Mitchell against Jackson. Ball under thrown just a bit. Jackson never turns to find the ball. And a great job again by a Georgia player locking in to secure the football. Dogs have not tried a two-point conversion this season. Haven't had a need to until right now. I don't like this spot at all. It's third and one. They're going to throw for it. Bowers has got it. He's got a blocker. Touchdown, Georgia. Demons be gone, and the drought is over. National champions at long last. Hey, you can Mutual respect is obvious. You can hear him say you kicked our butt there in the fourth quarter. But I honestly... I, Look at this oh, moment. The ex oh. walk on on the five star Heisman Trophy winner. There's also mutual respect there. We've talked so much about Stetson Bennett. There's a lot of heroes on the Georgia side, but you know, Bennett has, his story has kind of a Southern Gothic tone to it. <laughs> Stetson, when you were three years old, you told your dad you'd be the starting quarterback at Georgia. How does your resilience and your fight keep you in this moment ready to win right now? Yeah. I mean, I just knew there was going to be no way we were going to let a turnover like that stop us from, from winning the national championship. There's no way. I wasn't going to let that happen. Um, I was not. I wasn't going to be the reason we lost tonight. So many times they tried to recruit over you. You thought about leaving, but you yep. stuck around. Yep. Why? Because I love this place. I love this team. I believe in myself. I think I'm the best quarterback. And, you know, I just love everything about this place, and I want to win a national championship here. What does your story and your stick around, your fight, your attitude say to all of the underdogs, all of the walk-ons out there? I mean, I have, I have no, I, no clue. I hope it's, uh, you know, give somebody a little hope. Just keep fighting, keep your mouth shut, work hard. Um, you know, life's tough. You just got to fight through it. He's been on a long journey. This guy was doubted many times, and I'm including, you know, myself and our staff. And he's never wavered in his confidence in himself. I and mean, that's what a true competitor does. Are you proving people wrong or proving yourself right? 
probably proved myself right. You know, I've always just thought I was good enough. You just try to put your best foot forward each day and work hard and, you know, maybe things will turn out, and they have.